when His Grace the Duke of Bedford commissioned his good friend Manuel Pinero to design this short, short game area at Woburn, one of the main parts of the remit was to produce all the shots and variation of shots that you get on the three courses at Woburn. We had the Duchess, the Dukes and the Marquis. And although they're very close together geographically, they all have their own character and distinct flavour. And they have different challenges. So here, at this part of the short game area, we've got a bit of natural forest floor. And if you can imagine that the ball is lying cleanly, then I've got quite a lot of options. One of the things that people don't always realise is that you can move things that are loose and lying on top. But if you look around here, some of these pet pine cones are embedded and people move them. So I've just moved a pine cone and there's a little imprint from where it was. So that's one of the most commonly broken rules. You can't move things willy-nilly. You have to be absolutely sure that the debris that you're picking away is lying clean. Any suggestion of a dent or indentation means it's embedded and you're not allowed to touch those things. And when deep in the forest floor, only you know about it. So that's where, go that's where golf challenges our conscience. Now, when the ball's lying cleanly, I can play a fairly straightforward chip and run. I can pull the club up my sleeve, get the blade in the middle of my stance, and run the ball into the flag. And you can see, because the apron was nice and the green, that shot has worked out really quite nicely. Now, when you play this type of shot, because of the fact that you're coming in with quite a wide arc, there's no wrist hinge as yet, we're just using the chip and come putting mechanism, quite easy to catch the ground behind the ball. So we have to remind ourselves that we're looking every time for a blade and ball contact. Okay, and if we get a blade and ball contact, we invariably get the weight of the shot quite right. Now, those two shots have worked out nicely, but what if the ball is lying down? We've then got a problem. So I'm just going to put the ball down in a little indentation. The mechanism that I've just been using would actually catch the ground many inches behind the ball. So, it would be quite natural for me to move to my left and move the ball back in my stance. The trouble is, the six iron that I'm using becomes even stronger and I'm in great danger of scuttling the ball through this long grass. So, I now need to go to my chipping mechanism. So I'm going to use my 56 degree sand iron and I'm going to call this a scrape shot. It's as though we're going to scrape the surface of the ground but the ball is going to be just outside my right foot. So here's the stance I just used. I'm moving well to my left. My hands are way ahead and I turn the club face in. I now have access to the back of the ball and I can pull the club head through. Now you saw how strongly I hit that shot. If I'd hit the ball that strongly with a five or a six iron, it would be in the fence and out of bounds. But because I played a sand iron off the back foot, I still had sufficient loft to get the ball airborne, but the nature of the stroke allowed me to play more powerfully. So it came out low, but it stopped really quite quickly. And again, you get quite a lot of these shots at Woburn where you're in under the, the canopy of the forest, you're on the forest floor, and you need to go over a bunker, but below some big branches. And this is when this shot really comes into its own. So I call it the scrape shot. I sort of imagine a sharp knife scraping a potato. If the, if the knife laid back, you'd cut the potato, but if the blade is square to the potato, it scrapes it, it doesn't dig in. So the same tr is true with the sand iron. Yes, that would dig in, but when you lean the club forward, and you move the ball back outside your right foot, all of a sudden, you're scraping the ground and you're pulling the ball forward. Also, you've got a more steep angle of attack. The six iron came in here, would have got caught in the ground. But because you've moved the ball back, you get access to the back of the ball. So, that's quite useful. Access to the back of the ball, a low shot, and yet, it's a low shot that stops. So here we go, hands way ahead, I'm scraping the ball forward. And there she goes. So, if you're in a rabbit scrape, 
use the Luther Scrape shot. Mm -hmm.